Hi again, Brats Babes. Um, I don't know. I just felt like uploading another video, I guess, because I guess I have more stuff that I kind of want to vent about, I guess. Um, but this is not, like, family drama stuff. It's, like, completely different topic. Um, I guess I'm feeling a little bit, you know, sad and in my feelings today with everything going on. And then on top of it, I don't know, I... I think I messed up my friendship with my friend, um, Plague. That's the name they chose. They, they go by Plague, use they, them pronouns. Um, and I think I kind of messed things up with them. Um, I don't know. I think I got too weird and scared them away, I guess. They, we were really good friends too. And I'm really sad about it actually. Cause like, I don't know. I don't know, I get really fixated on people, um, like super duper attached to an unhealthy extent. Um, that applies platonically as well as romantically. Um, so like in the situation with Plague, it was definitely platonic that I was like, I guess kind of really, really attached. And I don't know, it's like, it got to a point where I was able to like affect my mood and stuff like every time I think about the situation I just kind of feel like crying um, and I feel completely empty and devastated oh wow another little spider this one's bigger though and it appears to be albino or something how cool anyway either that or it's just like you know those spiders that are like super duper see-through looking? It could also just be that. I'm really blind. Um, and against the black frame of this swing, it does look rather white. But I could be mistaken. Yeah, because now I'm seeing it better. Now that it's like closer. But anyway, um, as you guys can tell, I don't, I'm not scared of spiders at all. Uh, in my opinion, spiders are friends. The um, enemy of my enemy is my friend. That's how I view it. I hate bugs. Spiders eat bugs. Well, spiders are friends. Simple. <laughs> um, in my opinion, they pay rent. They provide a service. Uh, but anyway, I don't know. It's just like, I guess like everything with that friendship got really out of hand very quickly. Like, over the course of this past winter, uh, you know, we've gotten a lot closer. Like, over the p p last few months, I guess. And they became, like, one of my favorite people to, like, be around. My fiancé is one of my favorite people, too. My fiancé is honestly, like, the most pivotal favorite person I have because, like, I don't know. I feel like the world would, like, end if you, like, weren't there. You know, like if he left, it's starting, the sun is starting to set. So I'm sorry if it's like really dark out here. Um, it's kind of a little chilly, but I kind of feel like crying, if that makes sense. Like I've been kind of fighting back like tears, I guess, because like, I don't know, I just sent a message and they're kind of like not even opening messages from me at this point. And I sent them a message saying a happy Easter. And I don't know, I'm just feeling really depressed about it because it's like we got really close and then I made things weird and awkward by getting like, I guess, weirdly attached to such an extent where I was like able to be devastated by, you know, them if they didn't hang out with me or speak to me for, you know. It's been, a, oh wow, it's been like, a week since the last time we hung out and like there was this huge like misunderstanding type thing and I think that they still think that um I was talking shit when I wasn't um I had mentioned like we were hanging out me and my friend Pawson were hanging out at Plague's place and everything and you know this was the first time I introduced Possum to Plague but I felt really bad because Plague's mom was in the hospital and then Plague had a, you know, had their baby there, their um, little toddler, their two-year-old, I think he is. I think he's two. 
Um, he's either two or three. Um, wow. But their baby was kind of hyperactive and all over the place. So they were kind of like worried about wrangling him. And I felt really awkward and like an inconvenience and like, I don't know. I felt really guilty, I guess. Um, like I was taking up their time and energy, uh, unfairly. And I had voiced this, uh, to Possum. And the only part they overheard was me mentioning it being awkward, like feeling awkward. And, um, they thought I was, like, I don't know. They thought I was talking shit on them or something. And, like, literally I would never. Like I said, they're one of my favorite people, but I don't know. I, they haven't, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like to some extent, I can't tell if they're the one who, uh, created the distance or I am. That's the problem, because for the past few weeks, we've been growing apart, and it's been breaking my heart and devastating me, and it's been making me more desperately wanting to, like, cling to the friendship, and I know that's not healthy, and I've been trying to step back and not let it have that strong of an impact on me, but, like, I don't know. I'm still kind of devastated by the whole thing, because it's just, like, I don't know. What am I going to do now? Who else am I going to, like, I don't know, hang out with, I guess? I don't know. I just, I don't know. They're one of the few friends whose opinion matters a great deal to me. Like, I don't know. I mean, I love them. They're basically like family to me at this point, it feels like. We've known each other for several years. Um, and I basically am like, I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't actually know where I stand, and it's making me feel very um, anxious and on edge and uncertain of myself and sad and depressed and everything like that. And I just feel so lonely and isolated, like, all the time. And it's gotten even worse. And I think that's also, like, when things started to fall apart there is actually when I started to, like, I guess start my YouTube channel, like, when things started to get a little distance, and I don't know, I guess I started to get paranoid that they only hung out with me, because I, like, often had weed, it's just, like, and then it just so happens that when I ran out, we stopped hanging out as much, and I don't know, maybe I'm being paranoid, I can't tell if I'm the one who's ruining everything, or if we're both somehow ruining it, or everything is just falling apart for no reason and I'm just clueless and helpless to stop it. I don't actually know. I don't understand. I don't know why I'm like this. I don't know why I feel like I'm so dependent on other people just to exist. It's like I need this other person to approve of me and to like me and to stay in my life in order to exist or else I guess I'll just die or perish or something. I don't know. And it's, it's really unhealthy to be that way. I know it is. It's very unhealthy to get, like, that, like, attached to people, I guess. Like, to where them not talking to you for a little bit of time is enough to make you consider multiple very drastic things. Um, you know, there's the urge to, like, get on my knees and beg for forgiveness for whatever I might have done wrong that I'm not un I'm not exactly certain of what it was that I did wrong that caused them to become distant with me um like a month and a half ago um I know last week didn't help though I'm pretty sure last week was the final nail in the fucking coffin I've ruined this friendship I'm certain of it and like I don't know I guess this happens with all my friendships I get super fixated I weird them out they back they back up they you know they back out um, and distance themselves, and then we stop talking, and then I'm alone again, and it hurts, it hurts so, so bad, and it's just, like, I don't know, I'm just, I'm really sad, like, I don't know, like, I trusted them, I trusted them a lot, like, I confided a lot of, like, I guess my personal, you know, experiences and struggles and everything, like, this was, like, a person who was you know, my best friend, you know, and it's just like, it, it feels really sad to me.
tell you, I don't know. I'm just, I'm devastated. And then like, I'm really glad though that one of my other friends is no longer a fixation though. Possum, I used to be super fixated on it. And that was a very unhealthy dynamic. I'm not going to lie, but we've gotten to a point now where the dynamic is healthier. We're no longer fixated on each other because I think that we're both mentally ill and we just got obsessed with each other and then super dependent upon each other. And it just was this super unhealthy dynamic. So when one of us was upset at the other, it kind of like, kind of like had the ability to trash both of our mental health. Um, you know, and we often misunderstood each other and that was actually the big issue. Um, that we had back in, like, school. But now Possum and I get along just fine. Um, there's some distance between us, but it's a comfortable distance. There's no longer that, like, super dependent attachment anymore, thank God. Because that was really unhealthy. And that was not a good relationship, uh, to have that kind of dependency in. Um, so we're still good friends. It's just... We're not, like, I guess, codependent so much anymore, if that's the right word. But I don't know. Um, I don't, I just, there's another part of me that's, like, you know, like, so there's the part of me that wants to beg and beg for, you know, I guess, our friendship back to where it was. But there's also a part of me that wants to, like, just be like, okay, I'm done, block, move on, and protect myself from getting hurt any further. And um, then there's another part of me that's just like, I don't know, like, I'm, I'm not, like, saying, like, uh, I want to, like, hand in a letter of resignation on life or anything like that, but... It certainly feels very hard to exist right now. I'm not going to lie. Like, I feel... And uh, it's just... That on top of everything else, I just feel so... Hopeless. I guess. I guess I'm depressed. Um, yeah, like, I could just lie down in bed and never get up again. That's how I feel right now. Like, I could just sleep forever. Once again, though, I want to clarify, I'm not talking about, like, you know, quitting life or whatever. Just, sometimes you just feel like laying in bed and rotting for a long time. You know, a nice coma would be nice. I think that would do me well. I could use a break. You know, just a small coma for a little bit. Uh, anyway, sorry um, if, like, I'm being dramatic or annoying or something. I'm just, like I said, I'm having a really rough day today with my mental health and with everything stressing me out around me, all the drama. And then also like feeling those feelings that I've been sitting here trying to ignore for the month, past month and a half about my like friend, I guess. But anyway, if you guys have sat through this video this long, um, thank you. Um, Yay, I didn't cry. Um, I did avoid eye contact, though, this whole time. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just... I don't, I don't really know. I don't know what's wrong with me or what I did or what's going on or why everything's going wrong, but it is, and it feels really awful. Like, I don't know, when it rains, it pours, I guess. And holy crow, it is monsoon season. Because... It sure has not stopped pouring. And it just feels like so much all the time. And like, there's so much expectation and everyone expects the world of me and I'm just letting everyone down all the time. And I'm always just making more enemies when I'm trying to make friends and I'm failing at friendship, I'm failing at life. Like I'm just, I don't know. Miserable, I guess. But it's been a really miserable kind of day. And I'm sorry for our, another, like, downer of a video. I guess I just wanted to kind of vent a little bit more about other stuff that was kind of 
has been bogging me down for the past, like, few weeks, like, month and a half, give or take. Um, and I just, I need to, I need to, like, I guess get it off my chest. It makes me feel a little bit better to do that, actually. I don't know. Maybe I have, like, freaking BPD or some crazy thing like that. God, kill me. Um, I hope not, because that just makes everything even more complicated and hopeless, it feels like. Like, I'm really actively afraid of having it. But golly, definitely feels like it sometimes. Um, but anyway, if you guys watched this far, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Stay safe. Have a good day. I hope you guys are having a better mental health day than I'm having. Um, I love you guys a lot, actually. Like, I don't know. I feel like starting YouTube was one of the best decisions I've made because it's honestly made it easier for me to have this outlet to kind of deal with life, I guess. Um, and it's easier than writing because it hurts. It hurts to write anymore. So I guess this was the next logical step was making a video diary and uploading it because what if my vi like what if it can be informative or helpful for someone else? Or what if it could be educational to, like, I don't know, psychology majors or something. Or, like, the medical field. Because, I don't know, I'm kind of a walking nightmare when it comes to, like, my health, physical and mental. But, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have a good night. Um, I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Probably, God, God willing, in the creek don't rise. That creek better not rise. I don't want to have to park the car elsewhere. <laughs> We're under a flood warning. But anyway, um, have a good one. Stay safe. Bye, Brats Babes.